figured it out. Julio Jones' card is glitchy like that with all those plays because he has that base jump, bro. Like, his jump is in green. No chems required. Remember, if we go back a little bit, when I was telling you guys about my theory that the blue chems are mostly for show, like, some of them don't really even matter, even if you chem it up with the blue, whatever. It's something about this guy's jumping, bro. Listen, put it like this, right? I'm going to start showing you guys some of the other cards with their jumping capability. Just notice, okay, the green, the green actual attributes are their real attributes. That means that EA emphasizes that at the lab. You know, like their crazy lab where it's smoke and stuff like that, where they're building Madden 19 and possibly 20. All the smoke is coming up in the air. It's crazy stuff that they're cooking up. That stuff, that attribute right there in green, that's huge along with the spec catch. You see, like most, a lot of the players don't have that in green with both. Like he obviously is very, very low with jump and stuff like that. So he's not going to get up like that and go after it. The reason that Michael Thomas was also that glitchy was because he was very close. If you look at Terrell Owens, a similar thing. He's not at the 99-99. I have to research it a little bit more, but it looks like Julio Jones is one of the rare cards that has both the spec catch and the jump already in green. Because even if we go down to OBJ now, spec catch, same, but jump is 98. And you might be saying, all right, you know what? That's only one. Like, what does that even mean? Bruh, I don't know what it is, but this guy's been getting crazy animations. And it's, yo, I, like I said, I can't explain it. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that's what I believe is happening. It's a very, very wild and ridiculous situation, but that's what's going on. Because there's nothing else that makes... Bro, I'm throwing the ball in the quadruple and quintuplet coverage every single snap. Well, not every snap, but I'm doing it regularly more than I used to before because I don't really care. And it's making me understand something. Based on some of the feedback that I've been getting for some of the people that played Madden 20 already, it's a very similar game in certain aspects of the high points and all stuff like that. So if we figure out these things, I just wanted the guys to, show, to see Aaron Rodgers, who that probably contributes to the way that the ball is being delivered accurately. So I wanted, I wanted you guys to see that really quickly. But the whole thing about it is this. If we keep the same system that I'm thinking about right now, and we go into Madden 20, and it's the same exact thing, we're good. If for any reason it's changed, obviously I'm going to let you know what you know what the deal is. But for the most part, they have to do things to make you be able to score easily in the red zone. Because what they try to do is they try to, in the end zone, it's always something. like Even if we go back to Madden 10, if you go all the way back to Madden 10, I tell you guys this all the time, the fade route. 11, the fade route was working too, but sometimes it was just the out route and the guy would stop and you would high point it and he would catch it, whatever. But all, all the Maddens in the red zone, you were always able to do something glitchy. And that's what this is right here with him. So once you get around the 20-yard line, bro, and you start throwing the ball to him, however, high streak, high point, whatever, even if it's comeback, whatever whatever play it is, he's, the, he's a very unique receiver in that regard. Because like I said, I'm going to keep going through everything, but I don't think that there's anybody else without any chem up. Remember, that Julio is not powered up. I just added the chems to him. I just paid for the slots with the training points. There is no additional things that are added to him. So what is it that's making him play like that? And the reason that I think that I'm on to something is because Michael Thomas, he pretty much does the same exact thing, but just not as much. You see what I'm saying? But he goes up crazy. He catches the ball in wild animations. And you can see that he's very close to having both the spec catch and also, um, you know, pretty much the, the other trait of the jumping. Now, with OBJ, you see that his spec catch is a 99 but you see that the jump is a 98. Now remember, I look, I can kind of prove to you guys through several gameplays that 90 through 98 is probably the same thing. But 99 is different. And I've been telling you guys that for a while. Some of you guys understand what I'm saying. Some of you guys are like, yeah, bro, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like my guys play like this. For the majority of us, you guys know what I'm already saying. You, it's certain things within this game and it's probably going to be going on in Madden 20 as well, where it doesn't really matter what the numbers say. You see what I'm saying? Like, the player is going to do certain things based on who the player is. And earlier, Julio wasn't do, doing this because I was playing with Julio, and I rage sold Julio, and he wasn't playing like this. But all of a sudden, he is. So what is the difference? All the cards right now are OP. So it's showing us with the 99 stats that even if you had it chemmed, it wasn't the same thing. That's pretty much what it's proven to us. So... You guys, got to, you, you guys got to stick with me with this, bro, as we try to figure it out together because, like I just said, bait, like EA Play is this weekend. A lot of you guys that are living in L.A., Hollywood, wherever you guys are at, you guys are going to be playing the game. If for any reason you see a lot of similarities with the way the game actually plays itself, 
you are going to be in for a very, very good and sweet surprise for Madden 20. Because I told you guys, I don't really foresee them changing a lot of what's going on within the game because that's what's making money. You know, the randomness, uh, the, the things that make anybody be able to pick it up and play. Like, you know, my three-year-old nephew, he'll come out, he'll dot me. You see what I'm saying? Like, those things weren't able to happen before. Now they occur on a regular basis. So it's more of a, it's something that we all expect now. Like, if you come, like, like for instance, this guy right here, we could tell by his uniforms that he doesn't care about himself. So I already know that he's coming out with the full intention to just be a guy that's going to get taken care of accordingly. Because you can see, like, why would you wear these uniforms ever at any time? And then to make it worse, he's wearing it in public. Like, you should never, ever wear these uniforms for any reason at any time, for any, you know what I'm saying? Like, for any kind of situation. Like, I don't even know what this guy's doing. So immediately, based on his dress code, I completely lost respect for him. So now we come out. And we have to do our regular subs and everything like that. Make sure, like I said, if you guys are running the trips tight end still or whatever you're running, because, you know, I run this and I run the tight. So the best thing to do is to keep Julio as an outside receiver. Point blank, period. Just keep him as an outside receiver. Don't waste your time with him on the slot. If you want to go slot receiver for my, for, for my trips right now, I'm using Kittle as my slot receiver. Now, if you want to go OBJ, that's fine also. Uh, Chad Johnson, that's fine also. But... I would recommend you guys start doing things like this. You see what I'm saying? Like having Kittle, because Kittle is a 99 speed monster. And like I said, he moves faster than Randy Moss in this game. So you can watch him. Just watch him run across the middle. He's running across the middle faster than I've ever seen anybody run across the middle. And he's a tight end though. So those are things that are good, not only because he can run that fast, but because he has the good blocking. So when you run the trips, uh, the trips tight end like this, and you want to run inside zone to just exploit whatever the guy's doing, you can easily do that as well. So that's just some pointers with that situation. And again, Kittle is probably going to be the year-end tight end that we're going to have as a starter. You know, simply because he's, you know, he, he's 99 speed with all those other traits as an actual tight end. You see, you could put him anywhere on the field. If you put him in at fullback and put him outside, you know, set him on a flat route. Like, bro, you can do so many different things with Kittle. It's unbelievable. So I just want to make sure you guys understand that as well. Everything else that comes with the game. All right, as far as like Julio Jones go and all the stuff that he's doing, what is this guy? What kind of D is he playing? I don't know what he's doing. Bro, all right, just throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. Or just throw a dot. Throw a dot. He came back. Throw a dot. All right, yo, Aaron Rodgers, though. Like, Aaron Rodgers will dot you. But the thing about Aaron Rodgers, though, like, he, he will throw some inaccurate passes when there's no pressure. But only on the high points. But he's, he's a lot more accurate than the other players usually are. Let me explain that, right? Every one of the quarterbacks in the... Oh, bro, what? Dudes are doing cartwheels over my neck. Every quarterback in this game, they throw the ball similarly in, inside of the red zone. Like, all of them are going to overthrow something. They're going to underthrow something. They're going to do weird stuff, right? But it's about playing the probability. Like, when are you going to be able to do other things? You see what I'm saying? When are you going to be able to not have to deal with that on a consecutive basis? That's the key. That's what you have to understand. So... With Aaron Rodgers, I would say four out of six throws, he's going to make. He's going to make four out of six with no issue at all. That's just the way it's going to be. If you have another – oh, did his moms know? Y'all know about did his moms. None of you guys in the comment section know about did his moms, dog. But, oh, bro, what, McDaniel, I'm going to rage sell you, bro. Why is your back arch like that? Like, bro, what are you do? Is that guy serious, bro? Like, you're really getting down did, did his moms that hard that your back is all arch crazy? Like, all right, you know what? Bro, I'm going to rage sell you soon. Probably because you're not a real gold 99. You're like an imposter dog. Like, you're running around as a 99, but it's, like, chemmed up. And I'm, like, so over that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm so over you being a chemmed up 99. I need a real gold 99 dude, bro. So you might have to get raid sold. But that's that's later. We're not going to worry about you right now. But like I said, I'm going to play that probability with Aaron Rodgers over any other quarterback in the game. Because they are all going to overthrow high point passes. You got to find the one that's not overthrowing it as much. Where are you going? Everybody's screaming. Who is that? Who just sacked him? Who is that? Is that Montez? Yeah, I think that's Montez Sweat. Yeah, bro, you better go get you one of those. All right, again, so now, looking forward to everything else that has to get done within the game itself, you guys have to be very, very smart with the way that you try to work it out. Because, again, you guys haven't been able to see what Julio has done yet, but I'm going to show you guys in a second. Because I think this guy's going to stay. I think he's going to stay. But regardless, I figured it out, bro. That's that's one of the key things. Why is he doing that? Why did he do that? All right, pick that off. Run it for six, too. Run it for six and pick his mom's up. Run it for six, pick his mom's up, doer. Point blank, period. This dude's garbage. We got to keep it moving. Like, what is this guy doing? Why would he just throw the ball up there like Rod Woodson is soft, though? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gonna throw the ball up like that? All right, let's go. Let's go back. I think what's gonna happen right now is Julio's gonna get dirty on him. And I told you guys right now, all you Falcon fans, all you guys have to look forward to is another high stat season for both your quarterback and your receiver. They're not winning anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Matty Dry Ice ain't winning nothing, dog. Like, you guys can do whatever you... Oh, bro, okay. He, bro, dot. Just a dot. He's going to hold on to... Oh, punch him in the face, too. Whatever. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to... Yeah, yeah, get up and fight him, too. Fight him. Get up. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, the dude's holding me up. That dude... Look, I'm going to keep working on some other theories, bro. But for now, you guys do your research and tell me how many receivers in the game have a base 99 spec catch and a base 99 jumping without any chem. You guys got to let me know that because that's what that's what I think is the difference with him and why he goes up so crazy in the red zone. And he catches a lot more of those than others also. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Uh, over here, we're getting our daily objective. What you got for me, EA? Give it to me. Oh! Well, I had 10,000 the other day, so I'm good. What's this? All right, it is what it is. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.